Shalom. Call hello. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf of you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibai from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spare and power of Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. Okay. This lesson is going to be entitled. 30 people shot. The love of many is waxing coal. Okay. 30 people shot. Okay. The love of many is waxing coal. As said in the scripture. The love of many is waxing coal, man. Okay. So this is an article I just found on zerohedge.com. All right. And I'm going to put up a clip disclaimer. All right. I'm going to read this, some of this article and I'm going to get some scriptures. And Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. Okay. But let me put up a quick disclaimer. Uh, Fair Use Act will be my disclaimer. Okay. The Copyright Act of 1976 under Section 107. Okay. Well, which gives way for um, commentary and um, criticism and things of that nature. Okay. Um, so, this lesson is not for monetary gain, all right? This is just for educational purposes. So, okay, once again, before I read this article, all right, a quick disclaimer is uh, the Fair Use Act, Copyright Act of 1976, under Section 107, all right? So, um, yeah, once again, the title of this lesson is going to be entitled 30 People Shot, The Love of Many. It's wax, waxing coal. Okay, now, but before I re get, read the article, I'm going to start with a passage. Okay, I'm going to start with the book of Hosea. All right, the book of Hosea, the fourth chapter. All right, and it reads, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy. Okay, and that's, that's the thing. 30 people shot. There wasn't showing no mercy, man. That was a, a a block party. They call it a block party turned into a war zone, man. The article said. All right? It says, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Okay? <clears throat> Verse 2. It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, you know, you imagine you're holding a big block party with all type of people. These, these people into all type of different things. Okay? It says, they break out and blood touch it blood. And that's what happened. All right? Shots rang out. People were being hit, wounded. Okay? They say, too, too, too fatally. Okay? All right? According to that article, they say, too fatally. Uh, uh, too, too, uh, there are two fatalities, man. But 30 people shot all together. You see? Let me read it again. Hosea chapter 4. And verse 2, it says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing a, adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. You see? Verse 3, it says, therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor approve, nor so like you, nor reprove another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Okay? They, ain't, they, ain't, they, they despise the word of the Lord. They ain't listening. Okay? They're doing what they want to do. They're living that YOLO life. Okay? Verse 5, it says, Therefore shall thou, therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. 
that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast for, seeing thou hast forgotten forgotten the law of thy power. I will also reject thy children. It's like you forget thy children. So the Lord rejecting certain people, man, because they reject his knowledge, man. Okay? All right? A lot of our people, they out here just doing wickedly, man. Okay, and I'm going to get one more precept real quick that comes to mind before I go to the article and read that article. Let's get out uh, Jeremiah chapter 4. And, um, Jeremiah 4 and 22 of this. Let's go to it. Bring that out and then, we, then we're going to read the article. Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter 4. And verse 22, it says, For my people is foolish. When you go into the word foolish, it means slakia. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. That's the word I wanted to go into, sottish. That word, it means, it means silly, stupid, foolish. Okay? They are sottish children. Okay? They have no understanding. These people out here, they ain't got no understanding, man. The love of them just waxing cold. Okay, they they just <laughs> they just being hard in the street. No love shown, no mercy. All right, say so they are they are saddish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. Right, it don't take them nothing to pull the trigger. Wise to do evil. Right, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Okay, you see, and that's a big problem, man. Okay. But, um, yeah, man, these people out here, they wax it worse, man. <clears throat> okay? Well, let's go to the article, right? Let's go to the article, and we're going to read some of this article. Okay? Once again, this is uh, ZeroHedge.com, and it says, 30 people shot. And this was uh, today, Sunday. The article came out today. After, I guess it, this, this was last night. Um, say, after, after 12... We, we get the information of the article. It's, but this it's article came out today, Sunday, July the 2nd, 2023. Okay? It says, 30 people shot, two dead as block party in Baltimore turns into war zone. <clears throat> okay? So this block party, okay, end up turning into a, a, a war zone, man. <clears throat> okay? So it says, it says, 30 people were injured, two fatally, during an overnight mass shooting at a block party in southern Baltimore City. The shooting is no surprise con considering Democrat city leadership has failed to enforce law and order. The out-of-control crime is so bad that notable trading desk decks <coughs> Desk in the Inner Harbor area have told us they they are actively seeking to re relocate business of violent crime. Okay, <clears throat> so they have businesses in that area. Okay, that trying to relocate because it's getting so bad in in in, in, in Baltimore. Okay, you have businesses that are trying to relocate, man. You see. Let's get um let's get another scripture real quick. Um uh, uh, what's that? We're gonna get uh the book of uh Second Timothy. Let's get that Second Timothy three and verse one. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Okay, this word perilous. When you go into it, it means dangerous, okay? Savage, fierce, okay? Hard to do. These are the times that we're coming into, man. Dangerous times, perilous times. We're living in the last, the last days, man, okay? And that's why these people acting out the way that they're acting. A lot of these people are psyched up on, on drugs, okay? And a lot of people shoot that shot, man, okay? Um, it says... Um, Officers received 911 calls around 12.35 a.m. Okay, so a little bit after midnight. Acting Baltimore Police Commissioner Richard Wally said during a news conference 
The mass shooting occurred at 800 uh, Grantner Court in the Brooklyn neighborhood. When police arrived at the incident area, Woolley said multiple victims were found with gunshot wounds. Okay? Multiple victims were found with gunshot wounds, man. You see? Because the love of many waxing cold. Okay? Let's go back to the scriptures. Let's go to, uh, you know, one thing our Lord Yahweh Shai told us, okay, that <laughs> these things are just the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? Because you still have World War Three, you still have Jacob trouble and all these things that's going to come. Okay, the, the way to the in, to, to enter into the kingdom is through the straight gate, and that's going to be by way of tribulation, man. You're going to have trouble on all sides, but the Lord is going to keep his people. Okay, the elect are the one who has to of that number, and I pray for the brothers, the elders, the sisters that believe. Okay, in this truth, I believe on Yahweh Bashim Shai. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, all right, and verse 8. The Lord said this, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay, all right? The things that you've seen, okay, out about and your day-to-day your -day and hearing on the news and seeing on the news stations and stuff like that. These things are prophesied that many are going to wax worse and wax cold, man. Okay? And that word cold, when you go into it, it means psycho. Let me jump down here. Matthew chapter 24. And verse 12, it says, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. <clears throat> so, because sin, okay, the transgression of the Most High Law is abounding, okay, that's what's called iniquity, sin upon sin. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. When you go into that word cold, it means psycho, okay? It don't take nothing, okay, for, for, for an argument to spark up and 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 and, and, and uh, evil spirit jump on somebody and they just start shooting, man. Okay, the scripture speaks about that, man. There be there be spirit created for vengeance, man. You see. So at the end of the day, yeah. <laughs> Remember, hey, the scripture say whoever perish being innocent. Okay, so at the end of the day, people who perish. Remember the Lord. The Lord say a sparrow doesn't fall to the earth, meaning a bird. Unless the Most High sanction it, man. Okay? That's in the scriptures. Because the scripture tell you what's that Psalm chapter 68 and verse 20. That the issue of death belongs to the Most High. <clears throat> okay? So, at the end of the day, you know, when a person passed away, it's just their time to go. You don't know what they did in, the, in their life or in their past life. So, you see? That's why the scriptures say, let's get it. Let's go to it. Um, <clears throat> the book of Job. Let's go to that Job. Uh, this is the book of Job, chapter 4, and verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of the Most High they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. So nobody ever perishes being innocent, man. You're paying for something in this life you did or even in your past life, okay? So, and, and remember, at the end of the day, we live in a time of heavy judgment, man, okay? Because a, a lot of people, you know, you, you've been getting away from a, for a long time, but now it, 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 it is, it's, you're living in a time of great judgment, man. I have uh, two precepts uh, I want to get real quick. If this one comes to mind, okay? Because our people are just out here, um, uh, willful sinning and doing what they want to do, okay, because they feel like judgment in gonna come no time soon, but you don't know that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, and verse 11. <clears throat> it says, Because sentence against an evil work is, is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, right? So sometimes people just keep, keep doing what they've been doing. Keep being wicked over and over again because they feel like, you know, it, 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 there ain't no judgment reaching them. But we're living in now, we're living in a time of great judgment. Okay, let's get that in Ze and, uh, <clears throat> Get a precept, Zephaniah. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. 
It says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So every day, the Lord bring his judgment to light, man. Okay, this this this, this incident happened after after uh, 12 midnight. Okay, by the time it's the morning, hey, that's going to come to light. You know what, what happened? At the, at, the, at the party turn, the block party turn into war zone, man. Okay, you see? So <clears throat> every day judgment is going out, man. Every every morning do he bring his, his judgment to light, man. You see? So <laughs> it, it, would, it, it would behoove you, man, to, to seek the Lord in these times. You see? Turn to the Lord, man, in these times. This is what you should be doing. Okay, let's go back to the article. <clears throat> Let's, let's, let's go back to the article real quick. Okay. Um, it says, reading on, it says, <clears throat> an 18-year-old woman was pronounced dead at the scene and a 20-year-old man was pronounced dead at the hospital. Officers said 28, officers said 28 victims were taken to local area hospitals with gunshot wounds. See, that's, 30 people shot, too fatally. You see? Um, it says, so this looks like a video, look like people running. I'm not going to play the video though. I want them to be a strike on the page or anything. It says, <clears throat> Woley said the suspects are still on the loose. He said homicide investigators would be at the scene for quite a while. So you see, that's a big scene. <clears throat> it says, this morning, all of Baltimore is grieving for the lives that were lost here. Mayor Brandon Scott said <coughs> at a press conference early Sunday morning, Scott called the shooting a reckless, cowardly act that did not have to happen. He said, we will not stop until we find you. We will find you. Until then, I hope with every single breath that you take that you think about the lives that you took. Scott elected in 2020, pledged to reduce gun violence. However, his crime fighting plan has been all but a failure so far. Uh, it says financial firms are looking to exit the city business. Businesses are uh, businesses are closing up, closing up shop, and parts of the downtown area have transformed into a ghost town. As anyone with common sense avoids the city as it as it descends into further chaos scott and his fellow democrats have pushed ultra progressive policies similar to ones in san francisco that have all but backfired we have detail we have detailed the chaos in recent months <clears throat> so it says keep it says keep in mind our reporting above is only in the last several months the collapse is happening much faster under scott and his progressive regime who are little about law and order meanwhile scott like every other democrat scapegoats listen man i don't got to get into the rest of this article man <clears throat> clearly you could see the point is being the point is already made that's just just i don't really gotta the article is almost finished let me just finish it up because I'm almost ready at the end. Meanwhile, Scott, like every other Democrat, scapegoat the gun industry while failing to take accountability for for failed progressive policies. Democrats have been in control of City Hall for six decades. It's time to entertain or at least hear what the other side of the polit political spectrum offers regarding a crime-fighting plan. If not, our progressive continue to run the city Baltimore is lost is a lost cause. After all, the total population has collapsed to a hundred year low. The exodus is happening in real time. So yeah, they're saying because of all the all the crime and violence <coughs> in that city, people people are, 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 are looking for other places, man, to put their businesses and stuff. You know? But yeah. So clearly you can see man, thirty people shot and um Two, two was uh, 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 fatal, man. You see? So you might want to seek the Lord in these times. Okay? Turn away 
from 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 wickedness, man. You see, you can't keep putting off. You can't keep uh, putting off the day of the Lord, man. Okay, let's get a few more scriptures and we're gonna close it out. <clears throat> let's go to. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the book of. Uh, let's get a. Uh, let's get the book of Amos. Amos, we're going to get Amos, the book of Amos, Amos, the sixth chapter, on the third verse, it says, he that put far away the evil day, okay, so you, you, we, we, we're, we're telling you that you need to repent, the Lord, the Lord himself say, okay, in Luke, the 13th chapter, except ye repent, you shall likewise perish, so you're supposed to come to the Lord and repent, man. In all uh, uh, truth and sincerity, <clears throat> and spirit and in truth. But if you keep putting it off, it says Amos six and three. It says, "Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seed of violence to come near." Right? Because if you keep putting off the day of the Lord, you you can just be out and about in mirth around these parties and people shooting guns and all kind of different crazy stuff. You shouldn't even be in those kind of areas, man. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the time for you to seek the Lord. The scripture said to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You see? All right? Um, as a matter of fact, let me go to that scripture because I want to read the, that's Isaiah 55 and 6. I want to read the 7th verse. As a matter of fact, uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 55. I'm going to read verse 6 again. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. So you need to forsake the ways that you've been living, man. Okay? And the unrighteous man, his thoughts try to think different. The scriptures say, though, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right? Uh, Romans 12 and 2. It says, And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You see? So, we can't tell you that enough. You need to... Turn to the Lord and repent, man. The Lord is going to abundantly pardon, man. So, but you got to, as the scripture say in, um, what's that, um, uh, Tobit, the 13th chapter, okay? Turn to the Lord and see what he would do with you, man. Okay? You see? Um, from there we're going to go to, uh, the Apocrypha. Okay, we're going to grab Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach. The fifth chapter and the seventh verse. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see? So remember, there are spirits created for vengeance. So <clears throat> you want to be found in good graces with the Most High. When the scriptures say, When a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. You see? So, yeah, you might want to consider, man, because stop putting off the day of the Lord and, and turn to the Lord and repent, man, because no man know the time or the hour when judgment could just suddenly come. Okay, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, and verse 12, it says, for, for man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. Okay? That was an evil time. That word evil, it means bad time. Bad. Okay? Eve meaning uh, uh, time and, and ill meaning bad. Okay? That, that was a bad time. 30 people shot. Okay? That wasn't a good time. That was a bad time. An evil time. All right? It says, for man know it not. For, for man also know it not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. So you could imagine that that happened suddenly. They didn't know, you know, people didn't have time to, to move or whatever. Okay. It happened suddenly, you know. Okay. So this is why we say you must repent and turn to the Lord, man. Okay. Um. Let's get a scripture on that, and we're going to close it out. All right, this is the book of uh, the book of Acts chapter 3. Uh, the point is 19, I start at 18. 
It says, but those things which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Mashiach should suffer, he had so fulfilled. Okay? The Lord, you know, he came to the earth as a man. Okay? And, um, yeah, he, he went on the cross to be, uh, to be a, that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel. Okay? So, this is the reason why you have a great spirit to get, to get your soul right with the Lord, get your house right. Okay, so you should be seeking the Lord and repenting. All right, this is the point. It says, Acts 3 and 19, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the message is to repent, man. Okay, repent. If the Lord said it himself, except you repent, you shall likewise perish, man. And judgment could come in any form or any way. So at the end of the day, it would, it would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. Oh, so... I'm going to end the lesson there. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.